What's good everybody? Welcome back to United Fox TV 876 The Jamaican YouTube Manchester United fan channel Where you get all the updates um, from credible sources Not just a hearsay from credible sources people So if you want to know what I'm going to speak about in this video You know what to do, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel Smash the like button, share it to the friend Let's get straight into the news people So we're sticking to the guru himself, Fabrizio Romano. He released some news earlier this morning. Alright, so let's read what he says here. Now, it says, Manchester United have three options in the list of new centre-backs. They have Benjamin Pavard, who plays for Bayern Munich, Jean-Claire Tadibo. I am not pronouncing this name properly. Apologies to the player. Right? He plays for Nice. And Edman Tapsoba. Okay? So, they are being considered as possible names to replace Harry Maguire. So, talks already took place with Toribo as revealed by Fabrizio Romano. Pavard keen on the move also. So, yes. We all know by now. Harry Maguire who is very much so wanted by West Ham United Manchester United has agreed a 30 million pound offer from West Ham so people drop down below what are your thoughts as it regards to Harry Maguire possibly going to West Ham United now we all know earlier on that we have been offered 60 million in package for both Maguire and McTominay and you know the case McTominay was rejected the offer for McTominay was rejected however the offer for Maguire was accepted now let us see what will transpire I believe that if Maguire is ambitious and he aspires to leave Manchester United and to continuously get first team football I think he should materialize this move. I think he should agree the terms once it's agreeable to West Ham. Because, trust me, Maguire is not even a third string centre back. He's fourth string because Lissandra Martinez is over him, Varane is over him, and I would argue that Victor Lindelof is playing over him at this point in time. Better yet, <laughs> probably even Luke Shaw. Maybe slotted in over Harry Maguire as well, if needs be, because it seems as though if Malasia is injured, they may play the youngster Mr. Fernandez to play centre back. So, I'm um, left back. So, yes, Maguire is not coveted or wanted by um, Ten Hag, because also the fact that the captaincy has been stripped off him it goes to show the level of which he is needed at United and no persons might say it is what Ten Hag did to take the pressure off him etc etc but the the, the, the the proof is in the pudding people right we have seen the performances have not shown a confident player and a player that deserves leading the great Manchester United no disrespect to the player but the pressure got to him because he came as a very good player and we'll see how he plays for England so it goes to show that there's a player in him but the player in him is not there for United all right so yes Maguire if you want to keep your England spot move to West Ham United that's that let's move along people so now another news which has been circulating and we saw it earlier if you check the Manchester United official Man United page Mr. Rasmus Hoyland he has a minor back injury so 
the, the article that I'm reading from now is from the Daily Mail. So let me just read the headline and read a little bit what it says. Right? So it says, Rasmus Hoyland is nursing a back injury that will limit his playing time at the start of the Manchester United season. Right? With the issue more serious than the club disclosed after sealing the strikers' $72 million deal right let's let's go along some more so it says again manchester united's new seven new sen, oh, sorry manchester united's new 72 million euro signing rasmus Hoyland is nursing a back injury which is likely to limit his this is a repetitive thing let me move along it say the male sport has learned which is the daily mail that an mri scan conducted as part of the danish strikers men, medical last week revealed a stress response hotspot in his back which can be the start of stress fractures in young players wow so i am I'm, I'm supposed based on reading this i am getting that this is something common in in young players don't know what that that means and i mean varan made an article I think last week regarding the, the stringent um, schedule in terms of the games back to back too much games in the calendar which cause a lot of injuries so based on this I'm, I'm getting that probably this is a cause to why these sort of injuries occur in players but for me uh, this is disappointing because to know that we've gotten one of Ten Hag's target transfers, right? To know that he's here injured, it's not a good sign because first of which, the striker who Ten Hag liked since he came last year, excuse me, Anthony Marshall, he's very injury prone. So he's not dependable in any way, shape or form. Now to see our new striker, Rasmus Highland, coming in injured, for me, I am disappointed. Not disappointed with the signing, but disappointed that he's injured. Now, I hope this is not what is yet to come for Rasmus Hoyland at Manchester United. Because we've seen the track record. We've seen the CV behind Rasmus. We, see, we saw that he's a physical striker. He can hold up play and he can score goals. Right, and he's a target man. So I'm hoping that remember, guys, the Premier League is arguably more physical now than the the, the, the Serie A. I'm not speaking over the years, you know, in the past. I'm talking now. It's probably more physical than the Serie A. I could be wrong, but it's my opinion. Don't bash me for it, right? So yes, I'm disappointed, and let's hope that United will. Um, monitor his situation properly and not send him out too early so that when he goes to play some games it causes problems right so let's hope that it's just for this part of the career of Rasmus Hoyland at United and after which he'll be banging in goals for the team now let's move along just to recap some of the transfer news that I spoke about in the previous video. Yeah. So, Fred Rodriguez. Still, we don't know who Fred is definitively going to. We just know that he will be sold. It could be um, Galatasaray. could be Fulham. could be um, Nottingham Forest. Any of those teams are interested in him. And... If you don't believe me, Fabrizio said it earlier on. He didn't really go over it recently, but it has been said. Donny van der Beek may go on loan. So too Fecundo Pelestri, right? And in terms of getting Sofia and Amrabat, we all know that terms are, have already been agreed. So it's just for Manchester United to get some sales done to get those players. So it can be either Todibo coming in if Maguire leaves. Um... What the other name? Let me get back the other name because I don't quite remember because the other names have been shared with us since this morning. 
So it's Tadibo. Tadibo. Yes, Tadibo is how his name is pronounced. Benjamin Pavard and the Top Sober. I don't know if I pronounce him that correctly. But those three names have been linked to United as possible Maguire replacements. And I think that Tadibo is the best one in terms of the three. Well, you can argue Benjamin Pavard, but he hasn't been in the graces at Bayern Munich um, recently. Ah, uh, yeah. And the sale of possibly McTominay and Fred will determine if we get Sofian Amrabat or not. Now, I believe that these signings may, may be materialized or be confirmed to United later on in the window. Because we all know the end of the window is the end of August. That is the end of the window. So let's see what happens, right? Let's hope that Rasmus Hoyland's scenario will iron out and he will heal properly and he will hit the ground running, right? Um, we have been also linked to a striker, but I'm not going to speak about that another young striker. I'm not going to speak about that before I get some more credible sources on it. So, let us see what transpires about that rumor or those links are regarding that Brazilian striker that United are possibly um, eyeing at the moment. Yeah, so let's see what happens, people. Maguire is the one that most likely looks to be leaving out of Van de Beek, Fred um, and McTominay. It seems that he's more likely to leave the club than those other players as it stands. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on in the transfer window regarding Manchester United at this point in time. I hope you liked how I, how I brought across the, the, the data to you guys. You know what to do. Like the, like the video, share it with a friend, subscribe to the best Jamaican Manchester United fan channel. See you in the next one people and I'll surely update you if some more news coming. Let's go.